Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about improving your results. So if you want to improve your results just by using higher time frames, this is the video to be watching. It doesn't matter what you trade, whether you trade equities, whether you trade a Forex, 10-year bonds, whatever it may be, gold, silver, this may actually help your trading. And it's really looking at your trading in the bigger scale of things. Quite often, particularly as day traders, we get focused on the shorter time frame. So we'll look at the hourlies, four hourlies, dailies, dailies being the big the big time frame effectively. But what if you look out at the, I've, at the moment, I've got a four hourly chart here. Let's just look through this chart. Four hourly wise, yep, it's great for day trading from, uh, we can see some lower highs coming through here. Would we have confidence at this point here of selling? Possibly not but I might, change, I might change that in a short while. But th then let's zoom out of this. Well, th there were some previous highs back here where it's, it's run into some previous highs and lows. So it was a pivotal area around here. So certainly that, was, that could have been a point where you, yeah, okay, would you like a little bit more confidence? Well, look then, um, I wouldn't be the pivot trader unless I used them, of course. Pop the, put the quarterly pivots on instead of the monthly pivots. Look what happens. So the, the price action is re reacting really nicely here, not only to the prior highs there in that pivotal area, but it show, it's, it's given us a, a quarterly pivot here, showing us the pinpointed bang into that level and rolled over. Now, I'm not suggesting you sell into highs, but you can sell when you start seeing the breakdown from those highs. And there's there's plenty of ed evidence as we've seen on the shorter time frame, just going down to the four alleys here. We've got a trend break uh, once it broke these levels here and taken, giving us a lower high. We've got a bit more confidence at this point. And where we trade it to? Well, of course, we come back to the uh, daily picture here. And where could we trade it to? Well, we'll see where this goes to. Obvious places. I'm not foolish to think, well, the pivots are going to be everything, but obvious places would be the, the prior lows here where we've got some uh, support previously. And maybe the pivot. It hasn't got a lot of month left in it. It's got a week left and it could get down there. It's taken quite a while to get to where it has. But you can see how valuable just having a, a higher time frame pivot on your chart can help. help. So what I suggest you do is remove or well, just hide everything. I just ch uh, hide everything else that I don't want to see on the chart. Just hide it away and just pop it on the quarterly. You don't even have to check this on a daily basis. You can look at it on uh, end of week situation until the point where the price is coming close to the pivot that you're looking at and then maybe have it on there or you can have it in the, on in the background with on the shorter time frame so you've got that line in the sand effectively. As I said I, I would not expect anyone to sell directly into a pivot. I don't believe in selling directly into pivots um, but I do look for the reversal signs after the pivot's been here. Now just looking back on here so I'm not cherry picking you <laughs> this is the current month this is just how it's worked out on uh, this is dollar yen up here. I mean, it, it it managed to close below its S1. It came back to its uh, pivot there. I, again, uh, it, it's run into a high. Oh, look, support, <laughs> support off a pivot as well. So the, the 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 main pivots when it came over here back to the pivot, it tested it and closed or just above it initially. Went all around it, both sides of it. It it, it was a pivotal area there. Um, it broke down eventually coming off of course but uh, again even when it's sort of it, it's using them as a as a support now as I say this is a daily chart so you could change this to a weekly chart and see even more um, if I go back to where it is it'll be good there we go um, give us a bit more chart in there and you could just as you come back here you can see how powerful they are uh, for identifying support levels resistance levels in the markets and looking at it here on that that whole movement that we've seen recently using this weekly you just sort of see how what a lovely bear flag it is there's the, there's the opportunities now i said this you, you, it works over a, a number of markets let me just close this up a little bit let's have a look at number of markets then I'll, I'll show you the pound what's going on with the pound there okay support this month into its pivot point itself there support into the s3 with no surprises to see a market find support into an s3 or an r3 resistance but support here 
so you can see all the way through here there's, there's there's levels where it's been running into I mean just where the, the quarterly was providing a resistance point over that period it looks easier to see on sometimes just looking at it on the on a daily basis as you skip back there you can see in more detail how prices run through anyway all I've done here is look at another currency pair let's look at something else let's look at Tesla high high traded um, car stock What's it doing on this? Well, let's just go and find out what it's doing. Oh, you can see, you can see all the way through here. Look, um, how it's it's using its quarterly as support down here. Uh, recently, you can see the different levels as it's breaking through. It missed the monthly pivots, hit the S1. We expect a better probability of the S2 being hit in that case. And off it's it's come and found support, retraced, and eventually off to S3. What else have we got here? So plenty of Plenty of points where it's pulled up, then broken through here, finding support. Now this is off a daily chart, so this is as it is really. And you can see where they've, they've come into play lots of times. Of course, on big news, you get gaps, it'll run through, and there'll be times when it runs out of the out of the, the pivots themselves. That will happen with any market. Let's have a look at Google. Okay, so uh, what we've got here then. So a little bit more mixed in this current quarter, but even so, previous quarter run up, bang into its quarterly pivot there sold off and again this is a sort of the classic you're in a downward trend it's okay it's danced around a lot here on the dailies it's pulled up yeah you won't get the gap um, you won't be selling I wouldn't be selling here but certainly when it's starting to break these levels there's an opportunity down to its S1 10-year bond gain finding support a bit of resistance near where the new pivots come as it as it happens but the S1 here not the best of support but it's some support there and you will get that you don't get absolute precision on these things uh, sometimes you do sometimes you don't Th this this area here here well it was coming down quite heavily that might eventually uh, break down but there's a number of different markets let's look at the DAX no, nothing in play at the moment this quarter uh, but w th there's plenty of occasions here where it's found uh, resistance not a lot too much on there but certainly coming off finding support around this this pivot here down to the S1 bouncing around eventually pushing off again so that there are areas there we go resistance into the R3 sold off I'm not suggesting it for one moment you sell off into something like this it's a ball flag it's cherry picking the opportunities when they're pulling if it's a rising market it's when it's pulling back to suggest such as the pivot uh, that you can take the opportunities so there you go how to use higher time frames you're looking at the weekly charts as well as looking at the quarterly and as this can also use annual pivots as well quarterly seem to be a little bit more with it sometimes we'll take the euro for example at the moment it's just run back to the euro switching along let's switch this to just show you the yearly and the, it's, it's been largely finding support around its yearly pivot here the euro so I wouldn't say it's precision or anything like that but certainly there seems to be buying coming in there was these prior lows here at the beginning of the year but it's largely along with those levels along with the pivot itself it's it seems reasonably solid at the moment there may come a time when it goes off and breaks through that but for now that's possibly part of what's holding things up okay i hope you found this useful if you have please give me a thumbs up also most importantly subscribe to my channel for more videos similar to this take care safe trading